Let's personalize the conversation. Hello, I'm Ed Brown. Excuse me? Ed Brown? How do you spell that? B-R-O-W-N-E? Thanks. Now, let's personalize the conversation again. Don't stop. Ask about occupations. Say as much as you can. Hello, I'm Mary Smith. Excuse me? Mary Smith? How do you spell that? S-M-Y-T-H-E. And what do you do? I'm a musician. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's personalize the conversation. What's your name? Emily Thomas. And what's your phone number? 555-7653. Five, 555-7653. Five, 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 That's right. Now, let's personalize the conversation again. Don't stop. Continue the conversation. Ask more questions. Say as much as you can. What's your last name? Paxton. Paxton. How do you spell that? P-A-X-T-O-N. Thank you. And your first name? Tina. What's your phone number, Miss Paxton? 555. 0984. 555-0984? That's right. And your email address? Tina.Paxton at hipnet.com. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. Let's change the conversation. Can I walk to the school? The school? Yes. And what about the bank? The bank? Don't walk. Take the bus. Okay. Thanks. Now, let's change the conversation again. Don't stop. Talk about locations. Say as much as you can. Can I walk to the pharmacy? The pharmacy? Sure. It's down the street next to the school. And what about the bookstore? The bookstore? Don't walk. Drive. And where's the newsstand? It's around the corner. OK. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's personalize the conversation. I have two brothers and one sister. Really? How old are your brothers? Gary is 13 and Frank is 18. And your sister? She's 20. Now, let's personalize the conversation again. Don't stop. Ask more questions. Say as much as you can. I have one brother. Really? How old is he? 25. What's his name? Peter. And what's his occupation? He's a manager. Is he handsome? <laughs> yes, he is. Tell me about your parents. Well, my father's a musician and my mother's an engineer. Let's personalize the conversation. When's your birthday? On October 15th. When's your birthday? My birthday's in January, on the 12th. Now, let's personalize the conversation again. Don't stop. Ask your partner questions about other people's birthdays. Say as much as you can. When's your birthday? 
On July 31st. When's your birthday? My birthday? In April, on the 5th. And what about your parents? When are their birthdays? Well, my mother's birthday is November 6th, and my father's birthday is February 18th. Let's change the conversation. What do you think of the sweater? I think it's nice. What about you? Well, it's nice, but it's a little loose. Let's keep looking. Now, let's change the conversation again. Use different clothes. Use different problems. Say as much as you can. What do you think of these shoes? I think they're nice. What about you? Well, they're nice, but they're very expensive. That's too bad. What about this skirt? That skirt is so short. OK, let's keep looking. Let's personalize the conversation. So, how often do you take out the garbage? Every day. How about you? Me? About twice a week. Could I ask you another question? Yes. Who washes the dishes? Oh, that's my sister's job. Now, let's personalize the conversation again. Don't stop. Ask about other chores. Say as much as you can. So how often do you clean the house? Oh, I never clean the house. How about you? Me? About once a week. Could I ask you another question? Sure. Who goes shopping? Oh, that's my job. Really? And who takes out the garbage? My husband. He takes out the garbage twice a week. Let's personalize the conversation. Do you live in a house or an apartment? A house. What's it like? Well, there's a large living room, a nice kitchen, and a small bedroom. Sounds nice. Now, let's personalize the conversation again. Don't stop. Ask more questions. Say as much as you can. Do you live in a house or an apartment? Me? A house. What's it like? Well, it's a small house, and it has a garden. Sounds nice. How many rooms are there? There are eight. Downstairs, there's a living room with large windows, a kitchen, a dining room, and a small bathroom. Upstairs, there are two bedrooms, an office, and a bathroom. Does your house have a garage? Yes, it does. What about you? I live in an apartment. I don't have a garden. I want a house. Let's personalize the conversation. What terrible weather. It's so windy. It really is. So, Kevin, are you doing anything special this weekend? Well, on Saturday, I'm working. Do you want to get together on Sunday? Sure. Call me Sunday morning, OK? Now, let's personalize the conversation again. Don't stop. Ask about plans for other days of the week. Say as much as you can. What great weather. It's so sunny and warm. It really is. So, Mark, are you doing anything special this afternoon? No, I'm not. Why? Because there's a soccer game in the park. Really? What time? At 3. Great. Oh, and what about this weekend? I'm not doing anything special. Do you want to get together? Sure. Call me on Friday evening, OK? Let's change the conversation. 
How about some tomato potato soup? Tomato potato soup? That sounds delicious. I love tomatoes and potatoes. Are there any potatoes on the shelf? Yes, there are. And do we have any tomatoes? I'm not sure. I'll check. Now, let's change the conversation again. Don't stop. Talk about what you need, want, have, and like. Say as much as you can. How about some stuffed peppers? Stuffed peppers? That sounds delicious. I love peppers. Are there any peppers in the fridge? I don't know. I'll check. Yes, there are. And how about onions? Do we have any onions? No, we don't. Are there onions in the stuffed peppers? Yes, there are. Well, I don't like onions. Uh-oh. Well, how about a fruit salad? We have apples, bananas, and oranges. Sounds nice. Let's personalize the conversation. Did you have a good weekend? Let me think. Oh yeah, I had a very nice weekend. What did you do? Well, on Friday, I went out to dinner with my girlfriend. Then on Saturday, we went running. What about you? Well, the weather was warm, so I went swimming on Saturday. And on Sunday, I went bike riding. Now, let's personalize the conversation again. Don't stop. Ask your partner more questions. Say as much as you can. Did you have a good weekend? Let me think. Oh, yes. We had an okay weekend. What did you do? Well, on Saturday, the weather was terrible, so we stayed home. In the afternoon, I just took a nap. Then we went out for dinner. Where did you eat? At Alberto's Cafe, but the food was awful. Really? That's too bad. What about you? Did you do anything special? Well, on Saturday, we stayed home and watched old movies on TV. We made a great dinner, and on Sunday, we visited friends. In the afternoon, we went bike riding. Did you come home late? Not really. We went to bed early. Let's change the conversation. I feel terrible. What's wrong? I have an earache. Oh, no. You really should see a doctor. Okay, thanks. I hope you feel better. Now, let's change the conversation again. Don't stop. Give other advice using should or shouldn't. Say as much as you can. I don't feel so good. What's wrong? I have a cold. Oh, that's too bad. You really should take something. Good idea. Actually, you should lie down and take a nap. Really? Yes, and you should see a doctor. Okay, thanks. I hope you feel better. Let's change the conversation. Hey, Marty, let's go for a drive. I'm really sorry, Jean, but it's 8 o'clock. It's too late. That's okay. Maybe some other time. Now, let's change the conversation again. Don't stop. Suggest another day or time. Say as much as you can. Hey, Dora. Let's go out for dinner at an Italian restaurant. I'm really sorry, Paul, but I'm not very hungry. That's okay. Maybe some other time. Well, how about tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? Sounds great. What time? Seven o'clock. Okay. Let's go to that new restaurant next to the bank. Great. Let's personalize the conversation. Any plans for Saturday? Yes. I'm going to go fishing with my brother. 
And you? Actually, I'm going to do nothing. Now, let's personalize the conversation again. Don't stop. Ask about other times. Ask more questions with be going to. Say as much as you can. Any plans for after class? Not really. I'm just going to relax. And you? I'm going to go running, and then I'm going to go out for dinner. Really? Are you going to go to the new Italian restaurant? Actually, no. I'm going to Nelly's Neighborhood Cafe. Mmm, sounds good. Would you like to join me? Yes, I would. Thanks. Great. Let's meet at the restaurant at 7.30.